this video gonna be about the uh, New York police, the superintendent up there crying and boo-hooing, boo-hoo. Oh, the press and everybody didn't turn against you. Oh, I really feel sorry for you. You know, now these police departments across the country are starting to kind of get a little taste of their own medicine. Three and a half weeks and they're crying. Hmm. It's a big difference than 400 years. I ain't feeling sorry for you. See, the fund me means we're going to take something out your pension. Now, they're not going to totally get rid of the police department, even though they could halfway do it. Because when you violate and you're taught to kill black American citizens who, by the way, you work for, they don't work for you. But you're still in the slave patrol mindset. Who is teaching you this agenda? But anyway, the boo-hoo, boo-hoo, so many weeks. Oh, poor us. All this. What about all the black people you've killed left and right? Pandemic or no pandemic. You know, a Rodney King videotape almost 30 years old. And you didn't kept turning the heat up. You still find ways to, co to coerce this mindset. That it's your way. That it's this and that. You know. And I know there's going to be some. And, and listen. Not everybody is bad because there have been some sellout black officers, too. Mm -hmm. There are some who try to go hard for the massa. And some of them, because it was punks, they want to bully, they want to prove a point. Okay. See, so it does cut there. But the majority of them are white. And a lot of them is ignorant and racist. And they have an agenda. And their mindset is to destroy us. They're legally allowed. That white cop that killed that lynched uh, George Floyd, 10 times out of nine, he get desk duty, pickup duty, coffee and donuts, because he thought it's my turn now. You don't do be that bold and that arrogant without it being a green light. So when that New York superintendent talk about, yeah, we found it offensive. Yeah. Oh, really? The, what about Diablo? I can name you a lot of cases in New York. Central Park Five, they spent a chunk of their young adult uh, locked up for a crime they didn't commit. Because some white woman falsely accused him. Just like Central Park a couple weeks ago, that white woman got mad with that black man because her dog was off the leash and she called the cops on him. White privilege. So don't give me the boo-hoo. I don't want to hear no police boo-hooing three weeks after what black folks have dealt with for over 400 years. There's no contest. There's no comparison. And it's, it's insane, which white privilege, policing, that's part of the insanity. How about the black cops who've been law enforcement who've gotten killed by their own white fellow cops, etc. Think about that. Mm -hmm. So boo-hoo on that. Holler at me when you've gone a couple more centuries and you've been mis mischaracterized and misjudged and mistreated. But your little two, three week thing. <laughs> so I got to say about that. All right. Let's talk about it. Hit that like and subscribe to Bell Rings new video. Wash your hands, keep your mind clear, watch out for one another. And only when people can meet you halfway can you have a real intellectualized conversation about such a serious matter. Other than that, they plan. I'm out.